October 11th, morning in the pumpkin patch. Figured I'd do the uh, mid-month update, and I actually have some bad news. I'm not too surprised. This is usually how these things go with pumpkins here. But the pumpkin that the first one that I got that was growing, I was all excited about. It died. It got. It, I noticed it wasn't growing, and it got all mushy. It's in there. And I, I can't bend down today too much. I hurt my back out that here yesterday merely by bending over to look at a leaf so I gotta take it easy I shouldn't even be out here right now I should be in bed which I will go back to in a little bit so that one died and then the one over here you can still see it but I haven't noticed that it's growing either but there is one growing next to it Right about there that I pollinated as a backup that maybe one of these two will make it but if this is the same as the other one and does the same thing then they're both gonna die and I don't know but there is one last hope that was that third one let's see if I can find it it had a yellow flag ah there it is it is somewhere. <gasps> ah, there it is. That one actually is growing a little bit. I don't know. I just don't know if I'm going to get anything at all. I'm going to have to... No, I was going to buy pumpkins anyways. And then, of course, the, the main problem is, as you can see, the leaves. This is the worst. That's melon worms. So this year, the powdery mildew actually wasn't even that bad. It was melon worms, and I find it interesting how it's different in all parts of the country. I had one friend here that watches me ask me about, what do you do about squash bugs? And, well, we have squash bug, stink bug, and was it the leaf footer bug that's the other one? And uh, it hasn't, it's been annoying, but it hasn't really been too much of a problem. And then I had another friend ask me, what do you do about white flies? And I don't think I've ever seen one here. I know we do. Oh, about to trip over Henrietta. <laughs> I, uh, I know we do have them. And they, but they, they haven't been a problem. It's the, uh, those evil melon worms that eat everything. Like that. Destroy all the leaves. But these are the newer plants. I'm actually hoping that it'll get a little bit cool just to get the bugs to go away. And it has been raining, which is both good and bad, because the rain causes powdery mildew, but the pumpkins need rain to grow, so it's like, what do you do? But I'm hoping I have a new crazy idea that hopefully I can implement for next, next year. These are gourds. They're doing pretty good. I'm not going to show the, uh, the zookas. Oh, that zooka. <laughs> the zookas or the Casa Banana or the other pumpkin patch. The other pumpkin patch is doing good. It's got a lot of male flowers, but they're not going to be in time for Halloween. I did buy two pumpkins already, though. So, kind of a, a short depressing update for this morning but it's not over yet who knows there are pretty male flowers out this morning you never know maybe there's a pumpkin out here that I don't even know about thank you Owen. good bit of good news uh, the long loofahs are becoming long this thing is like it's, it's verging on three feet. I didn't think it would grow anymore. And then we've got this one. Gotta be careful. They are ants. Nasty fire ants. Cheap fire ants. That's three right there. 
in this curly one. Okay. And this one. So I've got five loofahs growing. Five long loofahs.